I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, look for a link below the video to this player reference. It has all the scoring elements on it and some basic instructions on the back, including a payout formula, which is helpful. Scoring is one of the most complicated parts of the game. So I try to practice by playing solitaire. Not only can you practice picking and discarding, but at the end of the game, you can practice scoring the hands and look at the scoring elements to see if you missed anything. I wouldn't want to miss anything in a live game. So I practice. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles, southwest and north will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each player's hand and see where we can find potential scoring elements. You gotta have eight fawn to win or to even qualify to win. That's the minimum. And you can't include flowers. Don't ever make that mistake. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one, also known as East. Let's exchange the flower. Don't forget, you can't include that in your eight point minimum. Okay, for this player, we have a Pung. A Pung of one cracks. Here's a pair and another pair there. If we get one more pair, we'd be set up really nicely for all Pung. All Pung, though, is only, let me see here, All Pung is six fawn, so we would need to get score elsewhere. We're in East seat, it's East round. These will not bring score. Pung of terminals is actually a fawn, so that would be seven. Pung of terminals is number 73. All Pung is number 49, so we still need score somewhere else. We can void a suit. Let's void BAMs, that's another fawn. Voided suit is number 75. So all Pung would be one, Pung of terminals, voided suit. That's three different elements with a total of eight fawn. That would meet the minimum. And we really just need one more pair in here to get set for all Pung. So let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and look at player two, also known as South. They have a flower. Okay, we need to look for patterns because we have mixed suits, four of each, dots, cracks, three bams, single honors. I wonder if we could do something knitted because we do have a couple of honors. Lesser honors and knitted tiles, number 34 is 12 fawn. 147, 258, 369. 147, there's 147. 369, there's a 3. 258, here's a 258 right there. I think we should play lesser honors and knitted tiles right here, number 34. 258, 147, 369. We have one, two, three, four, five discards. That's kind of a lot, actually.
There is some outside hand potential here. We have a five crack, a four dot. Outside hand though, number 55 is only four fawn. Let's see if we can get them to lesser honors and knitted tiles here. Let's see what we can do now for West. That's player three. Two flowers. Okay, for here, two, three, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ones, four, nine. Okay. I'm thinking, let's see here. Here's three, six, nine. Again, lesser honors and knitted tiles. Two, five, eight, one, four, seven. Here's a two and a one, four. A little light here, but here's three, six, nine, one, four, two. They also have a pretty good start for outside hand. Let's see what happens with that. Let's look at North now. This is player four. All right, for this player, they have primarily cracks, six cracks, two dots, three bams, one dragon and a wind singles. But here we have a pair and chi potential. We do have six, seven, eight, six, seven, some pattern in there with six, seven or five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, something like that. I think I would start by voiding a suit for them. Maybe see if we can get them to a half flesh. We could chi, pone, chi. That's three blocks leaving us with single honors. That's the weakness there. Okay, let's start by discarding. If we're gonna do, let's see, pones, all pone, we're gonna void a suit. Let's discard the one bam. One bam. I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. So we'll draw. We don't want a chi. There's already a chi there anyway. Six bam. We need a three, six, nine in here for knitted straight. Two, five, eight, one, four, seven, three, six, nine. We have four of each suit. Hmm. Let's stick with it and discard the one bam. We're going to try lesser honors and knitted tiles. Let's draw flower. Five crack, one, four, seven, three, six, nine, two, five, eight. They picked a good tile also here. Two, five, eight, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, one, four, seven. Okay, three, six, nine. Let's discard the three crack. Stick with lesser honors and knitted tiles for them. Three crack, can't take it. Can't take it. You can't cheat chow from the player across from you. You can only chow two, three, four from the player on your left. So we're gonna draw. That's a keeper, four crack, three, four, five. There's a chi right there, three, four, five. Let's discard this two dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw down here. We want to pair up and pwn. Nine bam, we're avoiding a suit here. Let's discard that nine bam. Nine bam, you cannot call for these knitted tiles. They're concealed until ready to win, so we need to draw. 
seven BAM. We need two five eight one four seven three six nine. Let's just keep the seven and discard. Let's see, I guess the nine crack. If we're going to stick with this, we just need to start peeling off these tiles. We, it'd be nice to get honors because this is when you can use single honors. So nine crack was discarded. Nobody can take it. You can't chi from the player across from you. So seven, eight, nine, not going to work. We're going to draw. Oops. Six crack. We need a, let's see, three, six, nine, one, four, seven, two, five, eight. We need an eight crack here. Let's go ahead and discard the six crack. Up here, if we're playing a half flesh or full flesh even, we can take that. Here's a three, four, five. We could do six, seven, eight and leave this pair for a potential pung, which you can call from anyone. Let's chow. So we're going to chow six, seven, eight. We need to get rid of these tiles. Nine dot. Down here, we want a pung. So we're, we don't want to be distracted by a chow. That would wreck the score totally. Although we could, no, we have a, a pung of terminals. I was going to say you could go for a chicken hand, but we would have to discard a one crack to take away that pung of terminals, which is a fawn. So we need to pair up. Five dot. That's not too helpful. Let's continue voiding that BAM suit. So now we have a voided suit. The plan is for all pung, voided suit, pung of terminals. That's eight fawn. So two BAM was discarded. We want one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. We don't want to do anything with that two BAM, nor could we. Red Dragon, that's a keeper. We need single honors in here for lesser honors. So, oh, 258 we need. 258, 147, 369. So, nine dot was discarded. Let's go ahead and throw that. So, nine dot, we need a nine bam in here. These are keepers. I'm just kind of staggering these a little so you can see where we're going with each of these hands. Here we're trying for pungs. Here we're trying for lesser honors and knitted tiles. Two five eight one four seven three six nine single honors. Here it's their turn. We want two five eight three six nine one four seven single honors. So let's draw. Oh, and up here half flush. So these will all go away. They have three discards. West single honor. That's a keeper. That is a keeper, three, six, nine. Okay, let's get rid of these BAMs. Oh, let's get rid of the terminal. It doesn't really matter. One dot, one dot. So that's a keeper, we can get rid of that. And these two, drawing for north. That's a keeper, one crack. Potential chow, three, four, four, five, six, or three, four, five. So there's a little flexibility in there. Let's get rid of these BAMs, four BAM. Nobody can take the four BAM, so we'll draw four east. We need to pair up. Six dot, singles, singles. Okay, so let's look at what is out. Two dot is out. We want to pair up. No, none of these cracks are out. There's a three crack out. Six, seven, eight crack are out. Let's just peel these away here. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of the three dot. There are two nine dots out. Maybe that means nobody wants the eight dot and we could pair up or maybe pung if we pair up in time. So three dot was discarded. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw four south. Nine crack, two, five, eight. That's what we want. We don't need this nine crack and it's a terminal. We'll discard. And up here we can draw because nobody can take that. Two crack. You don't want any pairs in here. Let's just keep discarding these BAMs. Seven BAM. 
nobody can take it, we're gonna draw. Eight bam, let's just discard that seven bam. And draw four east. Green dragon, that's a single honor, we can use that. Let's see, we want to pair up. Let's see, I was thinking of keeping that. Let's discard the five dot and draw. Drawing here, two, five, eight, one, four, seven, three, six, nine, single honors. That's what we want. Five bam, that's not helpful. Let's just keep that and discard the eight dot. We really don't need that. We need a nine bam here. So eight dot was discarded. That might be a good discard for them. Let's draw four bam. We want a three, six, nine, which we already have. Let's discard the four bam and draw four north. Last tile, second wall, five dot. We don't need that five dot. Nobody can take it. So it's going to be this player's turn. They could technically chow, but we are trying to pung. So everybody has discarded five tiles and we're going into the middle game now. Three crack. Okay, at this point, we're starting to have a lot of cracks in here. Let's get rid of these dots, eight dot. If we have opportunity to chow or even pung here and leave that as a chow, we could do a half flush maybe. We might need to sacrifice this seven dot and go for half flush, all pung, half flush. That would be eight fawn. Okay, well, let's keep going here and draw. White dragon. We do not need pairs in here. Two, five, eight, one, four, seven, three, six, nine. White dragon. We have five discards to get to a half flesh with our major suit. And there's a chow here and a potential chow here. There's a one dot out. No, one nine bam is out. We have one, two, three blocks. Here we have one, two, three blocks, but single honors. We have to decide right now what to do. Half flesh dragon pung is eight fawn. Two five eight one four seven three six nine. We have three dis four discards, five discards this way. Let's stick with it. White, white dragon. We're gonna stick with it. Let's draw. Seven crack. One four seven. This is the wrong suit. We need a seven dot seven crack up here we could chow and that would leave a potential four five six chow there five six seven chow we're gonna chow anytime you chow try not to leave any isolated tiles if that can help you with your decision making you want to be left with tiles you can act on like here we have two potential chows Let's discard the eight bam. Drawing down here. Red dragon. That could give them score. Let's discard the six dot. So we'll see. They still need a pair in here. Okay. Six dot. We're going to draw. Eight crack. We already have that covered. Let's discard that. Drawing four west. 
nine dot. We've got a nine dot. We don't need this. They're not drawing. <clears throat> Whenever you play this lesser honors and knitted tiles, it's pretty specific numbers that you need. So let's draw four north. Flower. Two bam. We don't need that. Two bam. Discarded. We can draw four east. North. All these singles. These single honors are painful. All right. None of these will bring score. This is east seat, east round. None of these are helpful at all. Let's go ahead and discard south. Drawing for south. Five crack. We do not need to pair up. We need singles. We need a one dot and a nine bam. A few more honors would be, uh, let's see, one, two, Another honor would be nice. Not a pair though. Okay, we discarded the five crack. We're gonna draw. Eight dot, 258, we need the eight crack, not the eight dot. Nine dot was thrown though. Let's discard that. Drawing for north, five bam. Okay, drawing down here for east. Nine bam, don't need it. Nine bam, that's the second one out. This player needs a nine bam and you cannot call for it. You have to draw it. Seven bam, seven bam. Okay, this is not going well for them. I think I would rather at this point, there's only, there's only two more nine bams and who knows where it is. Let's give up on lesser honors and knitted tiles and focus on bams because at least we can chow and pung. Let's discard four dot. We've got four discards here. Let's see what happens if we can do a middle game switch on them. Four dot, we're gonna draw. One dot, we already have that. We need a seven dot. So we're gonna discard that and that is a one dot second one out and they, they needed that, I believe, for 147. So I think that was a good choice. Let's draw. Two dot. Drawing for east. We need cracks or pair up these honors. Five bam, not helpful. Five bam up here. We can chow, leaving a potential chow. So let's take it. Five, six, seven. Seven dot. Up here, you can't take it. One, four, seven, you have to draw it yourself. Seven crack, we have a two, five, eight is what we needed here. Let's discard the seven crack. Can't take it up here, but there's a crack. That's a keeper, we can get rid of the six bam. And they are cleared to half flush. They have two chows out. They have a five, six, seven, and a six, seven, eight. Maybe we can get a six, seven, eight here for a pure double chow. So six bam was discarded. Nobody can take it. We're gonna draw for east. Eight bam. Up here, can't take it. We're gonna draw. Six dot. Drawing for west. Three dot. We need a one, four, seven. We need a seven bam or seven dot. Two, five, eight. We need an eight crack here. There's one eight crack out. Two eight cracks are out. They have mostly bams. Let's go ahead and discard the three dot and see, they really don't have much of a plan B. Let's draw for north, three dot. That was just discarded. So that's a good discard. And we can draw for east, eight dot, discard. Eight dot, drawing here, flower. 
6 p.m. That is a keeper. Ciao. All right. I almost wish I had kept that white dragon. We maybe should have switched when that white dragon was in. But at the time, I think it was the right thing to do. Let's go ahead and discard this 8 crack. That's the third one out. And this player is running out of options. Red dragon. That can help with lesser honors. Let's discard this 2 crack. I think if they don't get that 8 crack, they just need to switch to defense. 2 crack. Ciao. And now they have 9 showing. 9 showing. 9 cracks in exposures. We have potential chow, potential chow. White was discarded. Let's throw that. Anytime a player has three exposures in one suit, you have to be concerned that they're playing a full flush. A full flush is number 22, and that's 24 fawn. Let's draw. Six dot. Drawing here. Seven dot drawing here, but we could pwn it. I don't think we have enough pairs. I think I would rather go for half flush, pair up an honor, and have a pung of terminals. I don't think we have enough. We, we, don't, we wouldn't be able to act on anything else. At least with a half flush, we can act here and here. So I think I'll let it go and sacrifice the seven dot. Here, we need to draw six dot. That's a discard. We need a seven dot. There are two out right now. Four crack. They're ready to win. Let's discard the west. They are ready to win full flesh with a five crack or an eight crack. So we're going to discard west. We paired up. Now that is a terminal. It's not theirs though. Let's discard the seven dot. We're going to switch them to a half flush and then we need to pair up a dragon and pung a dragon to get to our eight fawn. So seven dot was discarded. We're going to draw for what, uh, south. Oh, one bam. That's nice. One, two, three, five, six, seven. We need to pair these up. Let's go ahead and get rid of these offsuit tiles. Two crack drawing here. Five dot. That's not helpful. They probably should just switch to defense. Flower. Green dragon. I'm going to discard that. Nobody can take it. Drawing for east. Five dot. Seven dot was thrown. Let's discard that. Drawing for south. Bam. Four bam. Okay, they have a five, six, seven bam out. Here's another five, six, seven. Pure double chow. Two chows in the same suit. Let's discard this five crack. Actually, you know what? There are two white dragons out. Let's throw that. We're going to need to get rid of this eventually. Drawing for south. They paired up in east. Okay. I think we should, let's see, two, one, four, seven. There are three seven dots out. We need to just give up. We need to just give up on that. There are no east out. That's the wind of the round. We can switch them to half flush or defense. Let's discard eight dot. Has been thrown several times. Let's throw that. Eight dot. And they've got all these safe tiles, seemingly. Okay, we're going to draw for north in a minute. We just got through the third wall, so we're now heading into the end game, last wall. Two dot. Drawing for east. Three bam. Three bam. We can chow. One, two, three. And that leaves 
three, four, five, five, six, seven. Let's chow. Chow. That is their second chow, and we're going to discard this five crack. Five crack, and that is Mahjong for north. Five crack. Right there, pair. And this is a full flush. Okay, full flush. That's going to be expensive. Discarded by this player. And they were one away from ready. So let's count their score. They were on a side weight, so they won't get special score for that. Nothing there for that. They have six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, pure double chi. Let's see. Here, let's see. All right, let's just look at chows. We have one terminal chow. That's not going to help with anything. Quadruple chow, same chow in one suit. We don't have that. Four pure shifted chows. We have one, two, three, and then we jump up to five, six, seven, and six, seven, eight. So I, that's nothing special there. Uh, let's see, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, no, no straight, pretend, no straights in there. And no nines, so we don't have anything like a terminal chow or anything there. Let's see here. I think what we have is all chow, which is too fun. They have chow, 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 pair. So all chow they can get. Then we have a pure double chow, which is another one. So that's three. Then we have a mixture of little numbers and big numbers. So I don't think we're gonna have anything special there. They're all exposed really. How many sevens do we have? We have one, two, three sevens, one, two, three sixes. I was thinking maybe tile hog, but we're short. Tile hog is where you have this all four tiles used without it throughout your hand. But in this case, we only have three, three seven cracks, three six cracks, two five cracks. So nothing special there, but we do have a full flush. So three fawn plus 24 fawn for full flush, number 22. So that's 27 fawn plus the flowers. So that's 29 fawn. So they have, let's see here. You, you go with the, or you announce the highest scoring fawn first. So full flush, pure double chow, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, all chow, two flowers. Oh, all chow is too fun. Huh? <laughs> nice. Okay, always check your scoring. That's why this is really helpful to download because you can have that out when you score your hand. So 24 for full flesh, two for all chow. So that's 26, pure double chow, 27, 28, 29. Is that what I said before? 24, 25, 26 for all chow. Twenty seven for pure double chow, twenty eight, twenty nine. Twenty nine is what they get. That's what I see. If I missed anything, write it in the comment section below. Okay. So 
the payout. Whoever throws it pays the value of the hand plus the penalty or the basic points. So the extra points everybody pays, eight. So all three players will pay eight. Then the player who threw the winning tile pays the basic points, which is the total score for the hand. So they're going to owe, this player will owe this player 37 points. And these two pay eight. Or no, I'm sorry. Yeah, 29 plus eight is 37. So 37 to this player for from south and then east and west pay eight to north. That turned out to be a really nice scoring hand there. This player just could not pong. They needed the four crack, which is right here. There's only one more left in the wall. Single honors here, couldn't pair up. Well, this is what happens when you're playing lesser honors and knitted tiles. It's kind of hard because you have to draw specific tiles. One, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine, single honors. It was a val uh, valiant effort, though, I think. Anytime you see three exposures in one suit, be very careful of your discards. You might even consider folding. But that south player's hand really came in for a half flush. I think I would have played to win. We still had the fourth wall to go. Would you have folded or would you have pushed? Write it in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire, for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.